Let me drop this stuff in the car and let me see. Man, this game is cursed. Ooh, yeah, boy. What's up everyone, I'm Azap, in new video we are back again with my summer car. If you still didn't watch the last episode, make sure guys to watch it before you watch this one. If you already watched the last episode, you know what happened. Finally, we owned Rusko and we did fix everything. We removed the rust and it looks a lot cleaner. Oh yeah, the last time I didn't show you the interior, it looks... Oh, what? Man, it scared the shit out of me, dog. Bro, for real, it scared me. And as you can see, look at the interior, super clean. Look at that. The seat looks hella clean. The door panels looks nice as hell. Man, look at the floor right there. And the dashboard now, it is super clean. Some of you guys in the comments, they told me I can remove the nest with a digging bar. I hope that's the true thing, so let's try it. Okay, we're gonna bring the digging bar and we're gonna press F. What the hell is going on? Why it's wiggling? Remove wasp nest. Right click. Oh, gonna take this thing and throw it in the jungle. And again, guys, some of you in the comments, they told me I can literally fix the dance in the car with the hammer. So we're gonna bring the hammer right here. We did pick it up and we're gonna press F. Oh, repair dance. Let's do that. Yeah, that's a lot better. There is no dent right there. Okay, is there any dance? Let me see. There is dent right here. Let's repair it. Bam. And before I forget, I need to install the new wiper knob. So let's take it from this table. By the way, guys, thank you so much for the helpful comments. It truly helps, like for real. Right now, we need to take the screwdriver from this thing. Okay, screwdriver. Right now, guys, we have to press left and right click in the same time, like very quick. Let's do it. There we go. This is the old wiper knob and this is the new wiper knob. And bam. Now this car, it's 100% completed. Let's get out, close door. And now let's go to the Satsuma. Today, guys, we have a really good plans for the Satsuma. We have to take two fleet tires so we can do the dino sand and let's see how much horsepower we have on this one bro look at the ratchet set she's right there i didn't find it last time because it was super dark yeah never mind let's get in okay let me turn on the ignition and let's leave it to warm up a little bit handbrake off let's buckle up and it's time to go to fleetari the last time that we drove this thing in the snow it was pain in the ass i really didn't like that i'm not gonna lie but i really enjoyed like exploring the winter mod if you still didn't try it you need to have the my summer car loader and the winter mod and also the frozen lake. I think guys I'm gonna say we can make with this thing 130 horsepower something like that. Before we get to Flitar, guess how much horsepower we have on this one? Drop a comment right now. This is gonna be my first time I used the dino stand in my summer car. Now we have to enter the garage. Slowly and easy first gear. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. That was super scary. Handbrake on. Okay, I'm buckle up. Let's get out. Let me take a look again and... Yeah, I think she's good. How you doing, buddy? How's the life going? So, Fleetari, I'm gonna take one hour for the dino. Let's buy this one and 195 marks. Thank you so much, Fleetari. Let me do my job right now. We have to open the window and, man, I love this mouse. Look. Woo. And now we can lean from the window and we can start the dino meter. Okay, let's roll slowly. We almost there. Yep, that's the max. Let me check the results. Oh, damn, the car makes 157 horsepower. Let's try one more time. First gear, here we go again. Ooh. So right now we did only first gear. Let's see how much we have. God damn, this is only like first gear. 181 horsepower. You know what, guys? I'm done for today. Okay, let's take this thing out. Let's detach the dino straps. Let me park this thing right here because we're gonna buy some new parts. We're gonna open shop catalog. Cool stuff inside. Let's go. We got Donor Tech Racing Turbo Charger. Available products 12. Right now, guys, we're gonna buy the first thing Racing Turbo Charger Kit. We have Racing Turbo Charger Straight Exhaust. We're gonna add it to the cart. 1,000 marks. We're gonna buy turbocharger exhaust header for 2100 marks. We're gonna add racing turbocharger blow off valve. We don't have twin carburetor in my car, so we're gonna take the Weber manifold kit. Racing turbocharger hood intercooler for 3500 marks. And we're gonna buy the boost gate so we can see how much boost we have. Almost forgot about the intercooler tube. We need to buy two. I think, guys, we are good. So let's finish the order. We got the first part right here. We got the parts right there. Uh, where is the other parts? Maybe it's not under the desk. What the hell? Let me drop this stuff in the car and let me see. Man, this game is cursed. Wait, I see there is a big turbo right there. The missing parts they are right here, so we're gonna take them all in the car. Let me drink one bottle because I'm thirsty as hell. Man, I'm running the modern optimization plugin, but it's still lagging. I don't know why. How much you think this car gonna make with a big turbo? This is a really good advice to my summer car player. If this game feels a little bit boring, just install some mods and try to explore more content. If you wanna see more videos about this game, guys, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. That helps the channel to pop up a little bit, and I really appreciate it. 
appreciate your support. Can we make this episode hit 400 likes? Let's do it, boys. Let me turn off the ignition, handbrake, unbuckle up. Okay, we drop all the stuff right here and it is time to work. Open the hood, get me the ratchet set and let me remove the hood. And bam. First thing that we need to do is removing the header with the 8 millimeters. We have 5 bolts. And bam, let me drop this thing in the garage. First thing that we're gonna install, guys, the Weber manifold. We're gonna drop it right here, bam. Second thing, we're gonna install the turbocharger exhaust header, and bam. And now, guys, we're gonna install the intercooler. So we're gonna drop it right here. Okay, where is, oh, the sweet spot, bam. Okay, that thing looks sus a little bit, so we're gonna remove the front spoiler, bam. We need to tighten two bolts with the 10 milli, so let's take this one. Right now, we're gonna install the first two for the intercooler. It should be like this, maybe. Bam. Oh, what the hell just happened? Here we go again. Bam. We're gonna install the second two for the intercooler right here. And bam. And now, guys, we're gonna install the big turbo right here. Bam. And right now, guys, we're gonna install the racing turbocharger exhaust inlet tube. And it should be right here. Bam. And now guys, we're gonna install the exhaust straight on the turbo, bam. By the way guys, you can install just one thing, the exhaust outlet tube or the inlet tube. The outlet one is for the muffler and the inlet, it goes right there. Before the final thing, we're gonna install the blow off valve and she's right there, bam. I believe we need 5 milli for this one. From here guys, we can increase and decrease the boost. You know what guys, let's max the shit out of it. I think guys, 2.0 is the max. And the last thing, we're gonna install the boost gauge and should be right here, bam. Let me get in and let's see if it says error or not. Oh yeah, she's good. You know what guys, I'm not gonna turn it on at the moment. We're gonna take some rest and we're gonna wake up early and go to Fleetar so we can take it to the dyno. Okay guys, this is gonna be the moment of truth and let's see if this thing gonna work. Let me turn on the ignition. Okay, choke on. Here we go. Ooh, holy shit. Wait, what the hell? It goes like 2.5. I did increase it right now. That is weird as hell, but yeah, I'll take that. Wait guys, can we get some pops and bangs? Let me see about that. Ooh, but there is no bangs. Okay, let's go to Flitari now. First gear, slowly. I did stall it, you know what? Ooh. Tell me you saw that, boys. It is super loud. I gotta be really careful or I will kill myself. And I did buckle up, I did everything. I should brought my helmet. Ooh. Wheel spins. Okay. Ooh. It is super fun now. Get the bangs. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Bangs again. Boom. I need to do a pole weight. Flush kick. Ooh. Let's do a second gear pole. Flush kick. Ooh. Man, I should participate the rally race with this thing now. Here we go again. Third gear. Holy moly. Fourth gear. Don't die, please. Yeah, boy. Man, I'm so happy to try this mod. You gotta try it. You will find every link in description. Boom. I think we good. And now let's lean from the window. Start dynometer. And wish me luck on this one, guys. You know what? I'm gonna try only first gear at the moment. Here we go, guys. We shifted the first gear. Let me check the results. Holy smoke, 680 horsepower. Let's try one more time. Right now, we're gonna do it slowly, okay? First gear. Okay, I think she's good. Now the dynometer, it says we have 371 horsepower. So guys, can you explain which one is correct in the comments down below? Man, I really enjoy driving this thing with the turbo. It is more aggressive and more fun. That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button, share this with your fans. Also comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little button to miss out anything. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.